In this video, I'm going to show you some mathematical proofs for some of the statements that we just said about eigenvectors and eigenvalues. For example, I very happily said that the determinant of a matrix is equal to the product of all the eigenvalues. How can I prove this? Actually, the proof is short, elegant, and simple. By definition of the eigenvalues, the determinant of A minus lambda i is equal to the characteristic polynomial whose roots are the eigenvalues. That's by the definition of eigenvalues. So now, just substitute lambda equals zero in both, hand, both sides of this equation, and on the left-hand side, you end up with the determinant of A, and on the right-hand side, you end up with the product of all of the eigenvalues. Nice and simple. Next, here I have a proof, also quite nice and concise, about why the eigenvalues of a triangular matrix are exactly the elements of the diagonal. So when I said this in the previous video, I did an, an argument that was not very formal. I said, we know that the determinant of A is A times B times C, and the trace of A is A plus B times plus C. So comparing this with these two results, then we can conclude that probably the eigenvalues are A, B, and C. But that's not a mathematical proof because I didn't follow any, any formal logic to show you that, right? Maybe the eigenvalues are at different three numbers, A, B, and C, even though the determinant is the product of three numbers and the trace is the, the sum of three numbers. So maybe these three numbers are not the eigenvalues. You can always find three numbers that add up together and multiply up together to the same, to the same value as a different three numbers. So this was not a rigorous proof. Let me give you the rigorous proof for, for this statement. First, we know that the determinant of a triangular matrix is equal to the product of the diagonal elements. And the very nice way to do this is to apply Laplace expansion to the first column. So that's the first element times the determinant that remains by removing that column and that row. So then we can do again the Laplace expansion on the first column. And doing that, we find that the determinant is equal to the product of the elements of the main diagonal. So that's for a triangular matrix. Now, if A is triangular, then so is the matrix A minus lambda i, because minus lambda i only changes the terms in the main diagonal. So if there are zeros below the main diagonal, there will also be zeros below the main diagonal for A minus lambda i. And therefore, we can conclude the following, that the determinant of this matrix A minus lambda i, which is triangular, is simply the product of all the elements in the main diagonal, which is the elements of the main diagonal in matrix A minus lambda, because we are subtracting lambda times the identity matrix. And this we know by definition of eigenvalues that this is going to be the um, characteristic polynomial and therefore the roots are simply the elements of the main diagonal. And now this is a proper proof, okay? Now, finally, I have a third proof here. This is a bit longer and much more difficult to follow. So I'm, I'm actually not going to go through it because I honestly believe that the only way to understand this proof is for you to go through it on your own and think about it very carefully. Now, I know for a fact that some students don't really like proofs. So those are normally the students that are more practical. They just want to know how to calculate things and why is it useful. And you don't, wa you don't want to know why it's true. But I also know that other students really enjoy proofs. So I think proofs is one of the most beautiful things in mathematics because it's what distinguishes maths from something like physics. So in maths, knowing the axioms, you can prove definitely that something is true. While in physics, normally you have to do experiments, but you can never be sure if the experiment missed some hidden variable. So you can never be sure of things, but in maths you can. And I like to think that mathematical proofs are an example of the human intellect at its finest. So it's like pure reason, logical reason, and you can achieve things that seem almost impossible. So how on earth can you prove that if all eigenvalues are different, then all of the eigenvectors are linearly independent? Seems like a horribly complicated thing. And yet, in half a page, you can prove it, okay? And you also have to admire, whenever you read a proof like this, you have to admire whomever was the mathematician that came up with this proof, because proofs are normally very elegant, and they usually have steps that are like 
really smart. Like, how did you come up with this? How on earth? Well, maybe the mathematician spent months or years coming up with this proof, okay? So it's really nice. So I would recommend you to go to the whiteboard or this proof is also in the notes and have a read. And, and then you will be convinced that Indeed, if, are, if all the eigenvalues are different, then all of the eigenvectors are linearly independent. Okay, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.